hallelujah. The one that woke us up this morning, we ought to bless him. He started us on our way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to have the our announcements by elect like Williams. We have a scripture by our brother the Oh, come on, put those hands together. Let's tell God thank you. Oh, we can do a little bit better than that. Come on, y'all. Because if it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, tell me, where would we be? Y'all ought to just give him a hand, praise just because. You ought to tell him you love him just because. Hallelujah, he's good like that. Hallelujah, when danger is on our trail, when we don't have a clue, hallelujah, he's watching over us. Hallelujah. You can't help but to love him. You can't help but to praise him. You can't help but to tell him thank you. Glory to God. Because he is the great I am. He is the beginning and he is the end. Amen. We greet you in the highest name above all names. None other than the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to come before you, amen, with our evening announcements. Amen. And our announcements are as follows. Amen. We're asking those of you that have cell phones, amen, at this time, amen, if you don't mind, if you will please silence them, amen, so or not interfere with our sound frequency. But for those of you that are emergency personnel, we do want you to perform your job duties. So if you have to, you can please step out and do so. Amen. Also, thank you for that. Amen. We would like to welcome you, amen, to our 18th, amen, church, amen, birthday, amen. This is a celebration, amen. It started, amen, on Friday night, amen, pastor, amen, apostle C.C. Doss from Springfield, Illinois, amen, woke us out. Hallelujah, the Jesus that's in him, hallelujah, gave us, amen, an awesome word, amen. And on this evening, amen, we have none other than Pastor, amen, Lamont Milton, amen. Let's give him a hand, praise, amen, and to his beautiful wife, amen, Lady Milton, amen. We thank God, amen, for them, amen, and all those that have accompanied them from blessed believers, amen. And let's give yourselves, amen, a hand, praise, hallelujah, glory to God, amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. And we do honor the house. Amen. On tonight. Amen. We do honor Prophetess Gray. Amen. Let's give her a hand. Praise. Amen. And her husband. Amen. For the devotion. He's been out a while. Amen. But we thank God for allowing him to be in the midst on today. Amen. We honor. Amen. Pastor Ruby Wright. Amen. Let's give her a hand of praise. Amen. And her husband. Amen. Co-pastor Wright. Amen. We honor these awesome musicians today. Amen. We have you, Pastor Jeremiah Williams. Amen. On the drums. Amen. We have Pastor, amen, Michael Gibney Jr., amen, on the drums, amen. Thank God for Pastor King, amen, and all of you, amen, all the ministers and pastors, amen, that are in the audience, amen, if I didn't, amen. Oh, thank God for Pastor Harris, amen. Let's give honor to Pastor Harris, amen, and Dr. Isaac, amen, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, amen, and all those that have accompanied her, we thank God, amen. We don't want to miss, amen, anybody. Amen. We want to address, amen, the house. Amen. And we're asking, amen, no, please, no eating or drinking inside of the sanctuary, amen, with the exception of water. Amen. If you feel the need to have something other than water, amen, to drink or eat, we're asking you to please step over the sweet sea. That side has been designed and designated, amen, for you to do so. Amen. Also, amen, our order of services is Sunday morning, work, Sunday school, amen, is at 10 o'clock a.m. Our Sunday morning worship, amen, is at 11.30 a.m. Our, our Wednesday night prayer, amen, and Bible class is at 7 o'clock, amen, p.m. Amen. If you're not doing anything, amen, come on over, amen, and worship with us, amen. Not only you be blessed, but let's help someone else, amen, to be blessed. Amen. Our Greater Grace Ministries mission and purpose, amen, is to impact non-believers' lives with Christ and teach believers how to live for God in a corrupt, amen, society according to the apostolic, amen, 
doctrine. Amen. And we also, amen, Pastor, amen, Doss gave us, amen, this flyer of him, amen. They have an album, amen, that's out tonight, amen. And he told us every time we see his face, amen, to keep him up, amen, in prayer, amen. So you all saw his face, and many of you know him, amen. Just keep him and his family, amen, in the ministry up before the Lord, amen, in prayer. Amen. Greater Grace Women, amen, mark your calendars, amen. Our Women's Conference, amen, is going to take place September the 23rd, amen, through the 26th. Sisters, we need your help. We will be putting, amen, out sign-up sheet, amen, for anyone who would like to volunteer, amen, during this uh, service or this conference, amen. And the theme this year is Woman, Heal Thy Wound. Amen. And we asking, amen, each woman, amen, for a $10, amen, donation, amen, to help go toward the funding, amen, of that, amen, event. Amen. Thank you for your attentiveness. Amen. Let's please govern ourselves accordingly. Amen. To our announcements. Amen. And if you will be so kind. Amen. If you will stand with us. Amen. As we read our evening prosperity declaration. And while you're standing, let's give God another hand praise. Hallelujah. Because I believe they told me that this is a sanctified church. Amen. This is a hand clapping church. This is a foot stomping church. This is a tongue talking church. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, he's mighty. And our evening prosperity declaration reads as follows. I decree and declare that today I prosper because God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. I decree and declare that today I have the power to get wealth because God has given it to me. I decree and declare that today, whatsoever I do shall prosper because I am blessed. I decree and declare that today, I prosper because I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I hear you, sister. I decree and declare that today, I prosper and am in good health because my soul prospers. I decree and declare that today, my journey will be prosperous because it is the will of God. And if you truly believe that, come on and put those hands together. Come on and make a joyful noise unto the Lord because we get ready to go higher, y'all. I know some of us in ate a little bit. We're kind of a little weighted down. But if you start utilizing your energy now, you can kind of burn some of that weight off. Oh, come on and begin to shake yourself. Oh, come on and shake yourself. Hey. I know you love him. I know you love him. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. I know you appreciate him. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't, amen, give him a wave offering. If you didn't love him, you wouldn't tell him that you love him. Oh, come on and give him a wave offering up in here. Hey, come on and put them together and tell him thank you. Hallelujah. We're going to have. Amen. Let's give her a hand praise. Amen. Amen. I come to you read from Psalm chapter 150. And it reads, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and harp. Praise him with the temperate dance. Praise him on the string instruments and organ. Praise him with the loud symbol. Praise him with the high sounding symbol. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. You are to praise the Lord on tonight. We're going to praise the Lord on tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we come to you the best way we know how, God. Why we thank you, God, for another day. God, another, another opportunity to come into the house and give you praise, God. Now, God, we ask you to stop by greater on today, God. God, because somebody needs to be healed on today, God. Somebody needs to be delivered on this today, God. God, we want to thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus because you didn't have to do it, but you did. Well, God, we lift you up on today, God. We want to just thank you, God, for life on today. Oh, God, touch our pastor, God, our first lady, God, touch our church, touch our youth, God. God, even look down on our musicians, God, look down on our leaders, God. Hey, God, oh, say, 
Oh, God, we ask you to come in this place, God. God, we ask you to be here. We, we invite you in this place, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God. God, we ask for the comforter, God, because somebody needs you, God. God, somebody needs you, God. God, somebody needs a, a turnaround in their life, God. God, somebody needs a healing on tonight, God. God, somebody needs a deliverance on tonight, God. Somebody needs it, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. And you can put your hands together. You can continue to give God praises. We came to party. We came to celebrate on today. Is there anybody chasing after him on today? Hallelujah. I know I'm chasing after him on today. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together and make some noise.
just thank God for him for blessing me and my husband with a one-bedroom house. Y'all can't tell me my God ain't. After being homeless, did nobody know I was up here singing and homeless at the same time? But God. And I just thank God for the going through my pastor taught us. Don't never curse your trials and tribulations because that's going to indicate your next move. Don't never curse it. And I thank God I went through. Hallelujah. You made a way for me. He make ways out of no way. He make ways out of no way. Hallelujah. We love you. 
Come on, lift your hands in the atmosphere. If you love the Lord, hey. Oh. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want. Worship and adore you, oh God. I worship and God, let me take a minute. awesome God 
I want to, all right, everybody get a hand, everybody put their hands together and give God some praise. I'm going to introduce the MC, and that's my mother, Ruby Wright. Come on, you can continue to put, God, put your hands together for God. I'm going to say it one more time. You can put your hands together for Jesus. I didn't tell you to put your hands together for me. I said Jesus. Because we a church that we praise God. And what my daughter was saying was Satan tried to take her life in 2017. Whoa, thank you, Jesus. That's why she give God praise. That's why God prays up through the songs. That's why he prays up through her testimonies. Whoa, thank you, Jesus. But maybe because it ain't yours, you don't want to give, you don't help her praise God. But maybe if it was your child, that could almost say, or your daughter, or your son, that could almost say, then you call the saints up to pray, that could almost say. But if you praise God in the veins, that could almost say, God will turn it around for you in your favor. She ain't come to pray with God, that could almost say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A track some years ago and once I got off the track my kids got off the track and I mean and didn't even know they was out there and they were still grown I was telling them I like don't smoke no weed don't drink nothing because the enemy waiting to set you up so her friend had couple say lace turn and I didn't even know what was going on but I came to greater and I brought her to the altar I brought her right up here to the altar Cause I knew something was wrong with her mind out the way. This is the church right here. You see what we're doing now? We do that quite often. Wait, 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 wait. This makes our third service. And I know y'all had some church too. But I'm almost convinced that if you put your big old fat hands together, and open wide your big old mouth. Something can take place in the atmosphere. Now I'm gonna give it back to them, but why do we got to go through the motions? Can y'all just act like y'all sanctified? Come on, stand to your feet and put your big old fat hands together. Come on, get real, real high. I 
I wasn't trying to do this. But I have a different mentality now. Because when COVID was here, people were having respiratory problems. And they couldn't do this. They couldn't be together. They couldn't put their hands together. But now we're here. Special guests, and we gonna get to our singers. But but why do we got to go to the to the formality? If we just get with one call real quick, dance and get it out the way, we can make this program short. It ain't nothing for you to just twist, jump, and move. I told them this morning. They didn't call us hard to take temple for nothing. We got a reason why we praising God. I told him, Pastor Mim, the man, he got on TV and said, it ain't nothing to all of that. He said, the saints know how to do it. He said, they were saying, and he said, they would shake their head. Listen, he said, but it wasn't nothing to it. But then I stopped and I thought about it. I actually like shaking my head. And I like doing like this every once in a while. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, you know what? Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're not going to do that. We're not going to. Let's just do this and get it over with. Say, neighbor, do me this one favor. Since you're not going to praise God, watch my stuff so I can bless him real quick. Ow! Big old fat hands together. Somebody start leaping. Somebody start jumping. Somebody pop. Together, give God some praise. We're gonna call Prophet's Grace to come with the welcome. After the welcome, we're gonna call Sister Latoya to come with my church. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people, for His merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endured for all generations. You ought to bless him. Come on. We didn't drive her today just to sit her and patty cake with the Lord. 
don't you do it. You will not do it on today. Hallelujah. Maybe yesterday. But this is the day that the Lord has made. And we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Put your hands together, good God. So pray. Let's cause a, a praise break right there. Look at that. Come on, let's praise God with her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She said her heart was operating off 10%. But God. But God is awesome. Like I said, I had came in here in 2008. I was battling with depression, having suicidal thoughts, and God delivered me from medication. And it's been since 2006, God delivered me. I came right in this house. God tanked my life around. And I don't want to say in the church, I came from the streets. Yes, I gang banged and did everything else. Yes, I did. I ran from the police. Yeah. I sure did. Went to jail. They, they got tired of me. They put me out. They took two trucks from me. I, I lost everything. I lost everything. So I'm glad I found Christ at an early age. I'm glad to, I'm glad allowed God allowed me to go through what I was going through. We can't judge nobody. Thank you, Jesus. Now this is a time of giving. This is offering time in the house of God. Or should I say, this is offering time. Y'all don't really understand that when I was trying to say it. No, but it's offering time. It's time to give. The Bible said it's give. It's good to give. To the re it's better to give than to receive. I'm already tired. But I'm tired for a good cause. We don't know what happened when we leave out these doors. Y'all be playing. Well, it's not a time to play in God with God, not in this season. My son just was ran over a couple days ago in East St. Louis. Ran over. They left him for dead. And I'm glad. I thank God for the reason. And when I got the news, I just prayed. God, send your angels. Send your angels to protect him. Went to the hospital. They wouldn't let me in. They ain't let me in. And he walking. He got cracked ribs and everything. And he's still praising God. 
And he came to church today. And when he, they released him from the hospital, he still was walking around. He still was walking around because guess what? When we serve God for real, God will take care of our kids. We can be right at home taking care of our business. But if you take care of God's business, God will take care of yours. God to see, keep stealing my children. And I thank God. Okay, ushers. I'm calling um, Prophetess Grace so she can take over this offering. Hallelujah. For those who are going to give on cash up, you can give at dollar sign GGM226. That's dollar sign. GGM at 226. Hallelujah. And while we're giving, as we're receiving this offering, we are believing the Lord for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritance, statements, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, checks in our hands, checks on the ground, cash on the ground. We just looking to find money. God is giving gifts and surprises, expenses decrease, blessings increase. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Our next we have on program a solo of our own musician, elder, pastor, friend, brother, Pastor Michael. Would y'all put y'all make some noise for him? It's not gonna be a long praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you so much, Pastor Ruby. The song says, down through the years, oh, God's been good to me, oh.
y'all see here in a minute. Um, can I share with y'all something real quick? And the reason why, my brothers, I've seen that God has been good to me. At 30 years old, I lost my father. But in the midst of losing my father, I say in the midst of losing my father, God has been good to me. Has anybody ever lost a loved one? Has anybody, anybody ever been depressed? But God's still been good to me. He's still, he's still, he, he's been kind. See, I, I got up here and I, I wanted to sing my song and I sung that God has been good. But sometime in church, I sit here and I wonder, First Lady, has God been really good to people? Because we come in here and we look at folk, folk look at us. I can tell us what I look like, but I said God has been good to me. Can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God has been good to me. So I, I'm here to tell you, when I begin to think of the goodness of Jesus, I said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all My soul cries out, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He woke me up this morning and he started me on my way. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. myself out. So when I, when I tell y'all God has been good to me, I don't do this for show. I don't do this to look cute. I, I need you to go church you, Jose. I need you to go try to want nobody to feel sorry for me. But I said I was about to end my life last night. I was about to end my life last night. But I'm going to tell you this. I will bless the Lord. Oh, yeah. I said, I will bless the Lord. Gee. Gee, in the morning. Gee, in the noonday. Ah. He's been good. Look at somebody say, He's been good. I said he had been good. No weapon born against me. Shut ah! till you be in my mouth. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. The devil tried to take me out, but I'm still here. The devil tried to take me out with sickness, but I'm still here. 
It's like Daddy left me last year, but I'm still. My stomach hurt right now, but I'm still. My mind is gone right now, but I'm still. If you got breath in your body, you want to open up your mouth and scream, Gina! I'm doing all this because I'm still here. I thought I was on my way out the door. But I said, I'm still here. And by his stripes, we I gotta get out of here. Here it is, Pastor. One more thing, I'm gonna go. Every time I get in the house, come in the house of God, right, Pastor? I have to give God praise. Here it is. When I go, when I go out this door, a bullet can strike me. Can do I can have a heart attack? Here's the thing. When the lady was talking about she had a heart monitor in her in her heart, we should have lost our minds. Can I demonstrate? When she said that, that's why I had to dance. Because Lady Williams, we have breath in our bodies. We still have the activities of our limbs. So if you have activities in your limbs, you ought to put your feet on the floor. And because my daddy, your mama, they ain't here with us. We let our feet do the talking. So if you got breath in your body, you ought to put your feet on the floor. Whatever you do, clap your hand, you jump. I mean, I need to see everybody on your feet. We ain't too...
all just sitting there looking at us. It's different when you get the mic, I guess, huh? When they play double touch, they say, I'm going to get you back. Uh -huh, I'm going to get you back. But see, we can praise God whether we have the mic or not. You don't get your chance to perform, but you should praise God with the folk that's praising God. I got a problem with that. Let's move this thing on. Ain't no such thing as saving your anointing. Dancing is dancing. When you're invited to a party, you're going to celebrate. So why are you coming to my party and you won't even dance? I got a problem with that. That's why I just dance by myself. Y'all can't pick y'all feet up because y'all doing too much eating. 
And then we come in here and get real deep. I know, I know this for a fact. Y'all ain't that deep. I know that for a fact. Because if you was, we wouldn't have all this death in our family like we have it. Things would be going down like it's going down. Your whole house will be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. You're not that deep. I said it again. I said it. I'm from Washington Point. No, I'm going to say that loud. They hear it. It's loud in here enough. It, it's loud. It's real loud, actually. But no, Pastor Linton know me. This is, we, ain't, no, we ain't just met. We've been churching like this. Sister Annette know me. We've been churching like this since one way. And I do speak in tongue, and I do have the Holy Ghost. If anybody question it, don't let the hair trick you. Don't let my outer appearance trick you. That's something, how we look at the form. I don't care how long your skirt is. It don't mean nothing if it's always over your head. I said it. They ain't missed it. They heard it. And we get, we get deep. Let me say three times, pass your phone to the third person in your role. Let's see how deep you really are. Can we get in here? Your ugly self. Now listen, y'all know I, I just play like that, and that's just a saying. I have anybody know me? Know I say that with your ugly self. That's just me. That's just me. But we we just real. We just down to earth. I found out you can be saved and still have fun. You 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 really can't. You can be saved and still enjoy life. Because being saved don't just teach you how to speak in tongues. It shows you how to talk to your husband, and your wife too. Let's talk about that for a minute. With our deep self. Get out here, get down, speaking tongue. Can't say nothing to your husband at all. I can't hate him. I hate him, girl. I hate him. I, I, don't, I don't come to church and shout because I'm so holy. I come to church and shout because I need God. Y'all don't want to see me without God. Ooh, I'm not what y'all want to see, but I, let me go to church. I, I need to go. Please let me go. Let, let me get all him I can get. Because you don't, I'm like the hawk. He said, you don't want to see me when I'm angry. Let me go on and go on the altar and call a little Jesus. I'll be all right. Look, you, you laughing because y'all know you probably the same way. Some of y'all like that about coffee, and then some of y'all like that about church. Right, because some people get upset over Coca-Cola. Let them drink their last Pepsi, and let's see how saved you really are. They'll go to hell over that Coca-Cola. And it's cold. Somebody said, that's deep. Girl, that went deep. <laughs> listen, we're going to do this real quick. We, but listen, we thank God for our guests. It has been like this all week. And I'm so grateful for the people that came and supported us. Amen. Bishop Spratt did an awesome job. Pastor Cece Doss this morning did an awesome job. Without a doubt in my mind, I know Pastor, amen, Milton is going to do an after job. Like I said, Think it made me go back with Milton came to Champagne. You might think you know when he came to Champagne. <laughs> That's a whole different story. The Saints will fight. And the Saints cuss. Y'all, y'all, now they say we was cussing. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, Pastor, the Saints cuss now. Yeah, j- you better know it. You better know it. Just, just let the wrong thing go down. Touch their baby and let's see. How saved you really are. <laughs> Don't touch my baby. Don't tell we'll bring this place down. <laughs> Listen, we're going to move forward. Look, let's do the presentation and get that out of the way because we really do want to hear. I, I have my, my cousins here, and I heard only of a group through my cousin. I never heard, heard of them, and we, and we thank God because we do, we do all guests right. We, 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 we pay people to come here. I'm saying we don't have to, but oh, we pay and we pay good, amen. Because you know what? I believe that's the only way that we'll get blessed. Some people see they they used to robbing people, and and I, I don't call people to the church to have a uh, to make raise money. I'm a nurse. I got my own job. Two of them to be a fact. Two of them actually. So I make my own money. So I don't have to prostitute the house of God, amen. Some people they do this to prostitute the house of God. 
but to get what they can get. I'm all about souls for real, and we love God's people. We love, we love God's people. So we would rather be a blessing to you. And I'm grateful for these young men that came because they was actually in another whole state. So they came down here, amen, to, to be with us, and I'm grateful for that. Pastor Milton, amen, he came to be with us, and I'm grateful. I see Josh in the back. I see friends. Listen, I'm grateful for all of you that came with support, amen. Don't pay us no attention. We crazy like this by nature. Amen. Really, we are. Amen. Um, let's do this, this presentation. I thank God for my, my, my cotton candy. Amen. She, my cotton bunny. Amen. She, she <laughs> Amen. My son, Jeremiah. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For him. Amen. We just thank God for everybody. Amen. We thank we thank God for everybody. Amen. Well, yeah. Listen, uh, it was really it was really on my heart. Uh, Jeremiah, you, you all give me those things off the desk. We'll, we'll make this presentation really quick. Mm -hmm. Sister uh, Latoya, you can give me one of the bags for Girly Grace. What we decided to do, which we started last year, but what we decided to do is because the church often always go out the way for the pastor and the first lady, and so I asked God, I said, God, give me an, a strategy and give me what to do to be a blessing to greater grace because they always are blessing. So I serve, I urge you all weekend. And one of my friends, he told me at the store, he said, you, I said, I'm buying me a suit. I'm going to urge you. This is what the suit though. He said, uh, you urge you, ain't you a pastor? I said, yeah. I said, but I'm still a servant. So I got a news flash for some of y'all. God ain't going to call you by your name, your prophet name. He ain't going to call you evangelist. He ain't going to call you great holy one. He ain't going to call you missionary. Hopefully, Hopefully, he say, well done, thou faithful. So that's how you're going to get it. So let's not get caught up on the title. Y'all see how I'm sweating? Some of y'all hurry and even move. And that ain't pumped it up. They just didn't move. All right, Jeremiah. So, so we've been moving forward to just two jars like that. Amen. Real quickly, amen. We um, want to do this, amen. As a couple of, you know, people, we've, we've been watching certain ones throughout the year when you don't know we're watching. And, and people of God, when you, when you have good members that is stewardship in church for real, and that are, because I found out, Pastor, people aren't looking for spiritual parents anymore. They're not looking for pastors. They're looking for preachers. No, there's nobody that want to be disciplined and take, you know, they don't want to look into to get a mantle. They, people just doing their own thing. But when you find good servants and, and people of God, amen, that, that's under uh, the leadership for real, for real, amen, it, it takes, t you know, it, it really, you know, it, it's good to honor them every once in a while. And that's what we did today. Uh, we didn't cook no dinner. Uh, the church paid for every member to go out to eat. Amen. Uh, every member. We don't have to cook no fish dinner to clean up. Every member went out to eat. And that and there's and and, and Sister Latoya from Detroit, she made um, the bags, the Greater Grace Ministries bag. And there's quite a bit of stuff in here. You got a keychain. You even got some money in, in the bag as well. In every bag. And little gifts in there too. So so every member who didn't get one Friday, who did not get one Saturday, make sure that you you get that. So, um, there's a few people I want to acknowledge today, and I want to talk about, man, and, and I love the plaque for this sister who have shown an outstanding, she went from, well, if I tell you where she went from, they'll know who it is, but I just don't say who it is. Amen. But this sister, I have seen her mature, amen, in the church. Amen. Uh, she, she used to cry about everything. Amen. She was singing about everything. And somehow she got on the an intercessory team, and she started just elevating. Uh, she started leading prayer. She started opening up intercessory. She started buying and rebuking. So we, we have a plaque that says it was dedicated to altar worker. Amen. We're going to call Sister Raylene at this time. Amen. Amen for, amen, for for what she have done. There is a, there is a, a plaque that we have uh, uh, that actually says, Outstanding work, amen. It's a, it's a plaque. I have to find out where it's at. 
They make you have a cash gift card as well. It's a little money on that too. Amen. You can go to the restaurant a couple of times. Amen. We thank God, amen, for your service here at Greater Grace. Amen. Have a, have a, don't walk away with a bitter taste. I know the saints get on your nerves sometimes, but don't walk away with a bitter taste. We thank God for her. We have, we have uh, the next person, uh, we, the next person, uh, he get, this young man get the achievement award, his skills and his dedication. When we look at things for the membership, we're not just looking at if you come to church. We're looking if you're faithful, if you're a tither, or if you're a giver, uh, how you treat others, are you helping others, you don't mind people. Who, people get their car, they don't want to help nobody. Ain't that a problem? Ain't that something? But in the summer, when, but when they call down, they want everybody their mama to help them. And we get mad. But let your call go down and let's see. And let's see how they act. But this young man, amen, is forever pouring inside the ministry. Um, they start a media team at this church, and uh, the media team has it, it went, it went, it have done a bless. We have we have people sending money from all over that's not even in the service we have people sending us letters from africa and uh, all over the world and i just thank god for that because the bible said when he come back his word would get around so people say this stuff ain't nothing to this it is something to it because god words has to get around amen like he said but we thank god for this amen uh, brother lamont at this time we thank god for his service amen and he he too will get the achievement award it's not in here but you got to play just act like it's in there, okay? All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're not done, brother. Get you some chocolate, too. Amen. And hold on. You get some money. You, you, get, you get some money. Amen. We, we thank God. Amen for you. This next, <laughs> this next sister, when I say have improved like you wouldn't believe, you ask her to sing, she'll cry. She would literally cry and would just stand there in the church like this. But now to see how God elevated her and she's not ashamed like she did to God. So come on, Sister Misha, we thank God for you. Amen. She completed school this year. The Lord gave them a house this year. God just opened up doors for them. Amen. And we just, we just thank God for your service and your service have not went unnoticed. Amen. And we thank God for the service. We can't pay you. We, what we give it ain't nothing compared to what you do 365 days in a year. Amen. We can't pay you. Amen. Accept this. Amen. Give. Amen. So it's a mission. We got, it's coming. All right. No, no, you don't have to cry. Amen. You don't have to cry. Here you go. And, and uh, take that and put some, do some stuff with your house. Amen. Amen. So they see Sister Sister um, Prophetess Gray with this crown on. And what she's doing today, she's getting ready to give up her crown. Because last year in 2021, she was the member, amen, of the year. Amen. And so we add a couple of things this year to the members of the year. Amen. And this is a tradition that we're going to continue to carry on. Um, so this year, we got it fixed. I didn't look to see if the brother did that, but the member of the year has a sign parking, amen, with member of the year right at the church, amen, for the rest of this year. Amen. The member of the year also has, amen, a, a dinner here in Bellevue, one of the restaurants where they'll have a meal every first Sunday up until December. And um, they have actually a cash, cash prize uh, that's pretty decent, too. And so Sister uh, Gray is going to uh, give up her crown. And this sister went, goes over and beyond for anybody. You ask her to do something, she do it for anybody. You ask her to go, she do it for anybody. Uh, and that's just how she is. And the member of the year for 2022 is going to be Evangelist Nicole Hudson. Amen. So put me in a 
program to vote in. Issue, congratulations. We thank God for your service. Amen, here. Amen. It don't go unnoticed, and we thank God. Amen, remember this. Only what you do for Christ will last. You have cash, too. But I can't just give you out the actual cash after that. There's another gift that's missing. There's another, there's a, there's a miss, there's a gift that's missing. Check back there in my office. There's an iPad. Sometimes I want to fight this next person. I do. You give me a taser, too. But I realize his demeanor is because he really loves what he do for God. And he don't look for money to get paid for this, paid for that. He put his own money into the service to get the stuff that he needs. He had really stepped up his game. My concern was, if I die, would he be okay? Jeremiah had got married. He got his own house. He got a home job. And he's been elevated this year. Amen. The leadership award goes to uh, youth pastor Jeremiah Williams. Amen. 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 And we, now he want a hug. Ain't asked for no hug all year. <laughs> Hold on. You get a cash prize. Amen. Uh, we thank God for your service, Jeremiah. Amen. We know, amen, with your heart. Amen. Your heart, amen, is in the right place. Amen. Whenever you're doing it for God. Amen. Now, we thank God for each of you. Amen. And we thank God for all that you've done. At this time, we're going to call, amen, brother, amen, Lamont, amen, that he will make his presentation, amen, to the First Lady. He got to get it. I'm going to take your time. <laughs> All right, I want to present you to the First Lady, Amen Wilkinson. Amen, we thank God for that. Listen, this is what we're going to do now. We're getting ready for the group, amen, the singing group. We're going to clear the stage. We're going to get the mic stands up here. We're going to get some singing, and then after we get some singing, amen, we're going to, I don't know, Pastor Milton going to bring his solo group, praise team, praise dance, or whatever he's going to do, amen. But after that, you'll be in the hands of Pastor, amen, Milton. However they want to take over the floor, amen, it's, it's up to them. But we want the group legacy to come, amen, and then we're going to take over. We th Again, we thank God. And, and where's the manager? Is the manager for legacy here? Okay, I, I see you. I got an envelope for you, too. Amen. I got an envelope for you, too. Amen. Put your hands together for legacy. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise. Amen. Hey, Pastor Williams, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. I used to be with Pastor Williams. We was in Charlie Park. Yeah. That's, that's, that's when Jeremiah wasn't way over here. Jeremiah was way down there. It's the last time I've been around. I think they watched me too. Amen. Yeah. Um, we want to first give an honor to God who is the head of our life. We thank God for um, his son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. 
We thank God for the sweet spirit of the Holy Ghost that helps us each and every day. We thank God for, amen. We thank God for this invitation. We don't take it lightly. Uh, we know we ain't the, the lead, the William singers and all that stuff like that. Uh, we just do what we do. Amen. We not them, we legacy. Amen. Um, we do have a single out right now. Um, uh, if you want, it's, a fi it's $5. Please patronize. Uh, we have them individually, and our manager, Sean Johnson, has them in the back. If you can just wave your hand, that's our manager. He has them. Amen. Just please patronize. And as a matter of fact, I, if you don't mind, I think we're going to do that one first. We're going to do that one. Amen. Uh, it's an old song. And uh, if you know anything about me, that's all I know is old songs. Young, you know, I come up in the Kojic church. I just know old songs. The song says, Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Oh, oh. Just another day. side of the church of holler. I'm so glad that the Lord has kept me. Anybody come up in the sanctified church? Hey, I'm so glad that the Lord the day that the Lord he he has kept me keep on keeping me yeah. keep on keeping me keep on keeping me keep on keeping me I'm so glad that you keep on keeping me keep on yeah. keep on keeping me
killed by God. Don't fool me. How many been killed by God? This year has been a rough year for some of us. Oh, Lord. A lot of people we love has gone away. But God has kept us here for such a time as this. Tell somebody, God will. God will. You gotta look at somebody. Y'all looking at me. Look at somebody and tell them, God will. God will. He will keep you. He will keep you. I know y'all ain't no preacher, but I am. So act like me. God will. God will. Yeah. Come on, I need three, four, five, six people to wave your hand if God is going to keep you and make you whole right now. I prophesy all over this room that God is about to make you whole. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what you've been going through, but God said that he's making his people whole right now. Hallelujah. We don't need no music right now. Just shout to the top of your lungs and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for making me whole. Thank you for making me whole. Yes. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for taking me in your home. Thank you for wrapping me up. Thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, I thank you. If it had not been for the Lord, who was all in my side. Somebody look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Say, neighbor. Where would I be? Where would I be? Come on, Jose. This is my prayer. Do anybody just need the Lord to touch him right now? My sister said she, she's operating on 10% out of her heart. But I decree and declare that by the end of this week, we pray that you're going to have full hallelujah. Can somebody just wave your hands and thank God? Come on, somebody just thank God for full activity of her limbs. What is it? So, Lord, touch me. Do what you want to do. Lord, heal me, Jesus. Heal me through and through.
Worship. I know y'all ain't used to no one tier worship. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Feel me up till I overflow. I wanna run over.
Lord. Here for you, Jesus.
23 came along. Yes, sir. And I was still here, but then I started to look over my shoulder. Cause maybe I got lucky. <laughs> maybe it's just when my time then, but right now it is. Good God Almighty. May 17, maybe 30 will be here, but I don't know what it be, but it was gonna be alright, y'all. I know it's gonna be alright. If I keep my hands in God's hand. If I keep having feet that God will do it. One more thing, y'all, one more thing, y'all, and I'll leave. Mama called me the other day. On our way out of town. Mama called me, said, stuff I will yeah. I said, Mama, I'm on my way to Memphis. She said, boy, I'm happy I ain't dead. Because you wouldn't be here to see it. I said, Mama, what you talking about? Mama said, I was sitting there the light. A car came and hit me from behind. Split the car in half. I said, Mama, what you talking about? She said, boy, ain't nothing wrong with me. I just got a busted lip. I said, Mama, you need to go to the hospital. She said, Boy, I'm okay. I'm just going to go home and lay down. I had told her to put my sister on the phone. I told her, Jessica, put Mama. You got to take Mama to the hospital. Jessica said, Mama, do it okay. We just going to take her home. We just going to take her home and pray. Make sure everything will be all right. Then I, man, just told me. Make sure you call and check on mama. But so much going on. So much going on. I just can't handle it no more. Time to turn it over to Jesus. 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 Lord, you got to be loyalty. Lord, you got to take it. Lord, you got to take it. Lord, you got to take it. Yeah, 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 yeah.
worship God a sanctified praise. Come on, come on, surrender. Come on and surrender. Let God do it for you. It'll be alright no matter what you do. No matter what you're going through. Trouble don't last long. for legacy awesome group anointed group haven't heard a group like that in a long time but we're not going to prolong the time we're going to call lady milton up as she brings forth her husband as she said let's everybody please stand as she comes to introduce the man of god for this is already high in this place so if you just reach your hands this way and just say pastor milton preach the word pastor milton say a word sir father god in the name of jesus we thank you right now for your grace and your mercy and your blessings I say thank you, God, for being so kind to us. If it had not been for you, please tell me where would I be? Lord, when I felt like giving up, you gave me a push and said, go on. Thank you for those songs that we've heard tonight. Thank you for the ones that ministered out of their souls. Lord, for I hear it in the song, a cry out. Lord, touch me where I need to be touched. Heal me where I need the healing. Deliver me out of it all. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I'll forever praise your name. I'll forever lift you up. Lord, out of the 18 years of, as a church, out of the 18 years, Lord, give us more than 18 more. And give us more souls that will come to know you through this ministry. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate the Lord in the house. We thank God. You may be seated in this sanctuary. What an awesome move of God. And I promise you, we don't need nothing else. All I need to give you is just, thus what said the Lord from a scripture, and we through. We don't need nothing else because I just realized something. This ain't no show in here tonight. And those that don't know, I've been knowing this pastor here back in my late teens, uh, early 20s. I just forgot I should have ate before I came here, but but because uh, uh, a pastor hungry, amen. But I thank God, and, and I tried to remember, amen, how we have church. And I'm 50 years old this year, so hey, I can't do it like I used to do. But by the grace of God, and where that young man that, that just got through singing, where he at? Amen, amen. We thank God for him. Don't y'all leave me. Give me just a few moments, and I promise you I'll get out of your way. But give me just a few moments here. Um, I sat there, and I listened to you all. I worship with you, and I praise God with you. So give me just a few moments to give you what God gave me. Um, and I'll get out of your way because I want to go home and eat. And I want to go home, and, you know, you know when, you, when, when you're the speaker, uh, it seems like the service just get longer and longer and longer. And folk don't even care about the preacher because, yeah, you know, they all in it. I'm with it. I'm with y'all. I feel it, too. Amen. I'm in it, too. I'm with y'all because my hands went up and I, my feet got light. I felt the Holy Ghost all in this place. And I thank God. So the Lord spoke to me right then and there. Ain't much we got to do tonight. I've already showed up and showed out. 
Uh, you ain't got to worry about getting your, making sure all, yeah, your scriptures are together. You ain't got to make sure, yeah, that everything is together over here. But I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to minister soon as you walk in the door. So y'all don't have, you didn't have to wait on the preacher. God said, I came by your address. I dare you with your bad, sanctified looking self to throw out in the atmosphere and say, Lord, thank you for stopping by my house. I need God to do something. I need him to do it right now, quick and fast. And like my grandma used to say, and in a hurry. Holler at the preacher and say, say, what's up? Uh, so I thank God for this pastor and I thank God for the preacher. I thank God for the first lady. Awesome, awesome team. They've been a team since I've known them. They've been a team and working, and they've always been extravagant. They've always been grand. They've always been whatever they do, they do it big. And I don't know about y'all. Y'all know anything about uh, uh, Pastor Williams. When he do whatever he wants to do and has to do in the atmosphere, he makes sure everybody know it ain't me, but it's the Lord's doing. And look how the Lord makes a way. I don't know about you all, but I, I, let, 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 let me give it to you. I promise you all. I promise you all. I, I got to do this and get out of your way. God gave this to me to speak directly to y'all over here at Greater Grace. God, uh, just down the street, we, 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 we left blessed believers and came right on down. I stayed back at the house and, and my intention was to go home and change or, or bring some clothes with me at the church and change. But I said, no, I'm going to go just like leave my pulpit and come into another pulpit because I don't know whatever the Lord is doing in the atmosphere. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to I don't want nobody else to get what belongs to me. Pat yourself in, the hole in your chair and say what God has for me. Tonight, I'm getting it for me. Move over, move over just a little bit. Move over. Yes, so look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Just so happened. Just so happened. My traveling musician is here with me tonight. And I thank God. Yeah, he came with a group, but he's here with me tonight. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the folks, they tired at our church, so uh, they didn't follow me tonight. Uh, and I told him, I said, that's all right, because uh, they got, they start telling me, well, Pastor, I got to do this. I, I got to run home and get some. I said, no, that, that's fine. Y'all go ahead on about your business. I'm going to run over here, just me, Jesus, and my wife. And we're going to come over here and just enjoy Jesus. Have y'all ever had an attitude? where you just want to be around some other folk that believe like you believe that's looking for I'm looking for looking for a miracle looking for a breakthrough looking for God to do something miraculous look at your neighbor real quickly and say is that you is that you are you looking for something from God Brother, that that just saying, yeah, he didn't get in the car, did y'all? Did he, y'all? Y'all, y'all trying to find him, find that brother, um, even that manager, the manager. They needed to be in here just to hear this real quickly. Find him real quickly because I need that manager to write a song, somebody get a song for that particular young man. And because I'm telling you all right now, the Lord gave this to me in the atmosphere, in the spirit, as he was standing up here before he even got on the mic. The enemy is trying his best to snatch that brother out of this way. But I came to declare over his life. Come on back over here. Yeah, yeah, you ain't going over there. I don't care how many witchcrafts. I don't care how many witches. I don't care how many warlocks. I don't care how many spells. It won't work. It won't work. Find him, find him. I see the brother. Now, now he a cool brother. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Let me give you the message just a minute. He a cool brother. He a cool brother. And if y'all don't, I don't even know the brother. Never even met him. But he a cool brother. And they get, and that group better watch out for him because when he go and sing, all the other ladies that's single in here, they gonna be looking at that dark skin, brother. See, back then we wasn't in, but now thank God we got the glory of God. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. But I wanna speak directly into this brother's life. If y'all find him, y'all find. Him. Is he gone already? Is he gone? Oh my God, my God. I wanna speak directly. Y'all make sure y'all get the word out to him. He has to sing. Oh, Jesus. He has to sing because that's the only way that the Lord is going to anoint him to be able to make sure that the enemy don't consume his mind. 
my brother, my brother, I hear you, I hear you in the spirit crying out to the Lord. This wasn't a show that you did on today. This wasn't a performance that you did on the day, but you was crying out, Lord, help me because the enemy is on my shoulders and he's weighing me down. But I dare the church to holler out in this place and say, hold on, my brother. Hold on, my brother. you cry. Every tear you say it. It's all for the glory of God. Thank you, Andre Crouch. If I never, 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 never had any problems, ooh, 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 Lord, I know. When no God could solve in here. They preached and danced. But y'all look at this in Romans 5 and 3. I gotta get out of the way here. Thank God for my wife following us here today. Thank God for Lady Williams again. Thank God for Pastor. Amen. All of the ministers and evangelists and prophetess, everyone in their respectful places. But I feel a shift in the atmosphere. In the book of Romans, the fifth chapter, verse 3. Yes, yes, the fifth chapter. Mm -mm, they coming back. They coming back. He's on his way back. All right. Uh, 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 it's good because I need him to hear the topic of this message here. Yeah. And we're going to decree and declare. We're going to lay hands on that brother. Yeah. Because the enemy will not have that brother. Yeah. Yeah. I know he went down from the teenage to the 20s down to the set almost 30. But I'm here to tell somebody it's not just him. But I need you to point to yourself and say it's for me too. Yeah. God protect me. God I, 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 I put your hand on me. I was about to give up. It wasn't last week. It wasn't two months ago. He said just last night. I can't give up now. I can't give up now. I can't give up now. Y'all, please stop.
Romans 5. I got to do this and I got to get out of the way, y'all, please. Romans 5, get it quickly. 5 and 3, Romans 5 and 3, Romans 5 and 3. surrender. I surrender to you. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for guiding me. As we pray over you, my brother, please allow us to pray over you. For the enemy won't attack your mind. I saw you when you was back there. The devil tried his best just three years ago to have the same feelings my brother had just three years ago. I don't know you, man. As a young man, getting so down on himself, talking about why am I here? What's my purpose? What I'm supposed to be doing anyway? Well, I come to speak right now into your life. What you're supposed to be doing is being a living testimony. You're going to tell everybody your age and above and below what God delivered you from and what, what the Lord is taking you to. And I'm here to speak over your life tonight that God will grant every prayer request that you have laid up before him, even as a young teenager up until now. Point this way which y'all sanctify yourself and say, Lord, cover him 
in your blood. Let him dodge every dart that is shot on the back of him. In the name of Jesus, cover my brother. My men, come over here and lay hands. Come here, Pastor, lay hands. If y'all can get a prayer through. Come on, lift your hands one more time and help me say, it won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect it concerning it. Sooner or later, it's going to turn in your face. Can you watch him work? Turn it around. 